Hi guys, welcome to English 112 online. Uh, my name is Miss Hooser and I'm your instructor for the semester. You can call me Miss H for short. I just want to go over a few things with you before you begin work in this course. First thing is I want to just take a look at the syllabus. To access the syllabus you'll go to this link here that says course syllabus and schedule. Okay, so let me zoom in. This is our syllabus for the semester. Um, you'll see my contact information up at the top. It gives you an office number, but I'm actually doing my office hours in the Writer Center, which is on the first floor of the library. So I don't have access to my office phone. So if you call me, make sure you leave a message. Um, that voicemail will go to my email and I will be able to call you back from there. The best way to contact me is through email, so feel free to do that at any time. Okay, so this is your textbook requirement required materials. Just make sure you read through this thoroughly. Uh, this is grading. These are the grading categories um, and, you know, the percentages for each thing. Uh, this is how you'll do the drafting process for each major writing assignment. And this is the just other assignments in this class, like the pre-writing assignments, final drafts, uh, discussion boards, and so on. Okay, um, so read through that and please email me if you have any questions. I just want to go over a few of my policies. First of all, my contact policy. Um, the best way to reach me is through email, but please make sure you don't email me the night before an assignment's due. Uh, I can't guarantee a response in time for you to turn in the assignments. So try to get ahead on your work and figure out if you have any questions before, right before the assignment's due. Make sure you check my announcements and the syllabus uh, for answers to your questions before emailing me. That way, we don't waste any time on that. My late work policy. My late work policy is that I only accept final drafts late. The reason for that is because if you don't turn in a final draft, then you likely won't pass the course. And so I have a late work due date on the schedule. If you turn in a draft late, you can do so up until that due date, and it's just a 10 point deduction no matter when you turn it in on your final draft. Um, if you have to get in other assignments late, like discussion boards or pre-writing assignments, then please email me beforehand. I do make exceptions, especially if you have extenuating circumstances. Um, so just email me beforehand. If you turn in something late with no explanation whatsoever, you will receive a zero on that assignment. The attendance policy. So because this is an online class, the way we take attendance is if you don't turn any in any work, that counts as an absence. So for me, I say that you're allowed to have two absences. And that means you're allowed to miss two weeks of work. Um, but I have you turn in assignments on two days during the week. And so to get an absence, you would have to miss the assignments on both of those days. And once you reach three absences, then I am required to disenroll you from the course. But I would be happy to reinstate you, but you have to let me know that you're interested in that. For me, communication is the most important thing in this course. So please, please make sure um, that you're always communicating any issues you have with me and I will help you as much as I can. Just make sure, like I said, read through all of this information and let me know if you have any questions. Going back to Blackboard, next thing I'm going to show you is our schedule. So this is the schedule that I use instead of the calendar on Blackboard. This is easier for me to edit. I'm not going to mess anything up um, or if I change something, I'm not going to forget to change it on the calendar on Blackboard. So this is where you should look for all of your due dates and all that. Let's look at these different columns first. First we have modules. Um, we have three different modules in this course and those are based on the major writing assignment. So I actually have to edit this. But the first module is your rhetorical analysis or RA. And then we have that module separated by week and then weeks separated by days and then um, what you have to do for each day, readings and videos, and the assignments due each day. So this is your week one here. So you have to complete all of these readings and videos and then this assignment. All of your readings and videos are located on Blackboard. If a reading is not on Blackboard, then it will be in your little Siegel handbook, which is the required textbook for this class. And you will see the page numbers beside of the reading if it's in the little Siegel. Okay, going back to Blackboard, I'm just going to briefly show you how to navigate Blackboard. Our homepage will have all the announcements, so if I have um, something that I need to tell you, then I will post it as an announcement, but that will also go to your email. We have course information, 
textbook requirement, and then I just showed you the syllabus and schedule. We have the attendance policy, which is also on your syllabus. If you need to access the Pell Grant survey, that's this link here. And then we have my contact information and my division chair's contact information for you. Um, the calendar will be not be available for you guys. So like I said, please make sure you're looking at the schedule for all due dates. Modules. So I mentioned the modules uh, on the schedule. So those modules correspond to on the schedule correspond to the modules on Blackboard here. So right now I only have one up, um, but you will have three later. And so if you click into the rhetorical analysis module, you'll see it separated out by weeks. Within week one, I just have all of these things listed. And so you should complete everything within week one in the order that it appears. So first, read the syllabus, watch this video, um, and then complete this icebreaker. I think I'll also put the schedule there. And so the same thing for week number two and so on, okay? So you can access everything through going through these weeks. You can also access the discussion boards separate, separately through this link, but that's not necessary to go through. You can just go through them um, through the weeks in the module. Last thing you should be looking at are your grades. Um, so you, I will update your grades as you go along in the course, so you'll always know your standing. And then lastly, your attendance. So um, I haven't configured this yet, but you will see how many absences you have throughout the semester. And just remember, at the third absence, I'm required to disenroll you. That was a very brief introduction to this course. Make sure you click through all of these links and read all of that information. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Good luck this semester.